welcome back to another video. It's been a while since you guys seen Jerry, the coolest white guy I know right here. So obviously for the title you see what we're gonna be doing today. I've been letting you guys know in the past few videos that I've done that I got the suspension. It's been in my house here for a little while. So Legends, shout out to Legends. Uh, they were nice enough to send me out the new Revo arcs for the 2021 Road Glide. And we're gonna be installing that today. Hopefully it's a simple thing, because every time I say, oh, it should be a, sh it should be a simple hit. It install. turns into a little bit of a hard time. Yeah, it goes into shit. But yeah, so it should be simple. Um, so we get the box right here. Boom! We got some goodies in here. They were, they were nice enough to send me a t-shirt as well. So we got two t-shirts. They're brand new stuff. We got some cool stickers. Uh, let me just lay them right there. And then we got this right here. So a cool option, because I see this is in blacked out right now. Um, they actually have uh, the decals that come in different colors. So depending on what bike you have, the color of your bike, then you can choose a different decal. Um, obviously, I went with the red because the bike is going to be red. So once everything is installed, we'll show you guys how everything looks on it. For right now, I'm not going to have the canisters on top of the fender the way I wanted to because I just don't have the, the canister holders on top. Um, yeah, I am so stupid. So <laughs> after installing everything, I, I finished oh, taking everything out of the box. And look, here was this little box here. So they actually sent out the remote reservoir holders, the ones that go on top of the back fender. So four hours later. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not, I'm not installing this today. Um, but I will be having those soon. Um, but we're going to be installing these the, the whole canisters in the bottom uh, right next to the exhaust uh, so it should be a simple little install uh, we got some hardware right here um, we've done a legend suspension uh, install on what like uh, on my Dyna mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, that, that, was, that, that was pretty simple it was pretty simple it's, it's like this this thing when, when you're installing suspension it's pretty easy you're just taking off two nuts and you're Pretty much in there. The only thing issue with this is that you're gonna need a lift to lift up the back tire because you're gonna need a little more space. So these shocks are much, much more taller than your stock shocks. So you're gonna need that lift in the bottom to give you that uh, that proper gap in order for you to fit those nuts and bolts back in where they're supposed to. Um, but yeah, very excited for these. Uh, obviously, stock suspension on Harleys we all know they're a little horrible. Trashy, kind of horrible. Unless you have a Pan America. Unless you have a Pan America, like my main man Jerry right here, then then you're 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 all yeah, set. Suspension is great. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So hopefully this will do uh, some justice. It's raining today, so I can take out the bike and do a little run and you know fuck around with the preload and everything. Um. So for today's gonna be the install. Then next week I'll do like a follow up video after the ride after I've done my adjustments and adjusted my sag and this and that and this and that. If you do guys want to see any more uh, content besides this on how to install more information about Legends, I'm gonna be linking down the website down below. Uh, they, had, they do have a lot of information on the websites as far as videos uh, installed. So that's the one good thing about Legends that they're actually a company that really makes it really easy for you um there's tons of videos on explaining what your sag is and how to install them your preload and everything else so once again shout out to legends let's get on to the install before that let's let's have a Oops. cheers man i haven't seen that yeah yeah fresh off dubai baby if you guys want to see um the dubai pictures go to my instagram same name as my marvel same name same name as my YouTube channel, Marvel Kid 87. You'll be able to see those tons of pictures. Amazing. If you haven't gone to Dubai, you need to go. You, you should uh, take your wife, man. One of these years. I just got back from Lake George. That was my trip for the year. <laughs> next, uh, Chicago's coming up next. Oh, Chicago, really? Yeah. Chi Town. Yeah. Chicago. I want to visit relatives. Really? I kind of, I, I kind of, I kind of want to go out to Chicago. We should do a ride out there. In November? What is that? Five, six hours. No, I tried 11 hours. Really? To Chicago? Chicago! It's 900 miles. 900 and change. Sheesh. All right, so like always, we said that it should be a simple install. We had a little little bit of issue, but we, we got everything done already. So the left side is done. We wanted to get that done first. 
And now all we gotta do is just take the shock off. We already went ahead and I took the bolt off this one in the bottom. Now we've gotta loosen up the top and we'll start installing the uh, right shock. So I took off the shock. Your stock washer, you're not gonna use a stock washer, guys. Ever. Uh, they provide uh, washers um, and spacers for us to use. Um, what we are gonna use is your uh, stock bolt. That's what you're gonna use. So let me get that real quick. So you got the reservoir right here down as well. Make sure that your bottom knob right here to adjust uh, is gonna be in the back side facing you. You're gonna take your bolt, you're gonna put your washer that they provide for you. Put that into there. And then on this side is where you're gonna put the spacer. And that's it. Screw that in there. Screw it in first and then I put some Loctite on there. You're gonna put some Loctite up in there. Not some, just a little dab, just to screw everything in. All right, guys, we're gonna screw everything in. Not so tight, because you're gonna need some wiggle room still. All right, so we got our bottom bolts uh, nice and tight in there. We just tighten up the top right now. Um, I had to loosen up the other side, um, because for some reason, this uh, side was not leveled out at all. So I took the other bolt out from the other top, and I've been going back and forth just at the same time, uh, just gradually both putting them in. Um, and that worked for me a bit. All right, now if you guys want another torque spec, um, it's in your manual. So look at your manual. There we go. So we got our holes going from the shock to our reservoir. Um, I didn't go ahead and put the sticker on it yet because I'm waiting for this other company to send me some brackets uh, so I can mount it on top right here. Uh, so I just have the canisters on top. Once I do that, I'll put the stickers on here. So for now, I'll just slide them down below. Um, Legends did send me the canister holder right here, which we're gonna install the bottom. Now before doing that, you're gonna have to loosen up this little part of the rear fender right here. So there's three little bolts that you gotta unscrew there, which is gonna give you a lot of space for you to play down here. Um, and insert your, your nuts and your screws. Um, this is, this this was the hard part before, so we're gonna do the hard part, so it's pretty uh, self-explanatory now. This is your bracket right here for your remote reservoir. Uh, and it's gonna go lined up right here just like this. The part that's gonna be um, notched out more, it's gonna go right where like the exhaust will be. Cause that's where the, the hose is gonna pass through right there. And it's gonna stay snug on it. So you got your bracket, you're gonna take your smaller nut, put the washer right through it. Um, for some reason, the washers didn't fit the bigger um, bolt. Um, so we're just gonna put it right through in there for now. So make sure your holes is gonna be right in front of the bracket. At least put it down there for now, out of the way. So before you go ahead and you put both of your bolts in there, just make sure that your hose is right in place right there in that notch where it should be. What we'll do now is that we'll just put the, the reservoir through the um, the clamp right here. So it can be in place, just like that. To have your reservoir and your clamp, you can go ahead now and put your uh, bigger bolt through. Put your nut on the other side. This side worked much better than the other one. <laughs> yes. It's like better. we had all that practice first. Now just to make it easier yourself, just grab a wrench, put one on the other side where the nut is at, and then just start getting everything in there. So right above here, this is where your, one of the bolts from your back is gonna go. Right above that, that screw that's on the fender, we're gonna loosen that up because we're gonna be putting in a clip right there, which is gonna um, clip the hose onto the fender right there and keep it in place so it won't be loose anywhere. So once I take this bolt off, we're gonna replace it with one of the ones that Legend sent us as well. So they have the replacement bolt for that one right there, plus the washer and spacer for it. So we have our bolt, our washer through. So we're gonna put the bolt through the clamp, and then on this side we're gonna add our spacer in, and that's gonna go inside just like that. We have our shock here, which as you can see, as I turn it, there's a little slack to go here and there. That means that your shock is on properly. We got the hose clamped onto the fender. 
we got our reservoir clamped into the back right here, which all you need right now is one more little screw in the back right here. And we're pretty much done with that as well. Just an FYI guys, we're gonna need an alley key in order for you to get in there. Uh, in the back, it's very, uh, little weird position. You don't have enough space back there. All right, so you got your three bolts right here, which are gonna tighten this back up to your fender. So we're gonna do that right now. So we got the uh, reservoir right there, as you can see. I have easy access, so whenever I wanna just adjust it from here, as long as the bags are off, you can just uh, easily adjust that as well. We got our hose line right there, clamped onto the fender. Nice and clean work. I'll give you guys a nice little close up look of how uh, that back clamp is right here. So that's the bracket right there, so the two holes. Um, like I said before, make sure your hose is on the outside right here, because this is the way it should look, just like that. All right, so what we'll do now is that we'll uh, lower everything down, put the bags back on, and I'll show you guys exactly how I'm gonna look standing on this bike now. If you are wondering, I am on the shorter side, I'm 5'7", and I wasn't really able to flat foot this bike, uh, like I was on the balls of my feet, kind of. Um, so we'll see how I do now, because he's a 13 inch, uh, much, much bigger than obviously the stock shocks that we have here. So let's get these bags on. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna put the bags on because I still need to play around with the sag and adjust everything. Um, today we can't do that because obviously, like I mentioned before, it's raining out. So later in the week, I'll do that. We'll touch base and I'll let you guys know exactly the perfect fitment where, where I found everything to be at. huge difference right, now that I'm on the bike I do notice that it does sit up a lot higher um, prior to this I was almost able to flat foot this bike with these boots that I have on now it just should up so as you can see here I'm I'm kind of like on the front balls of my feet now before I was like this and I had a little gap in the back of my heel and um, I was almost able to flat foot it um, so yeah I definitely got to order some some uh, bigger boots with like at least a two inch uh, height um, cause for now I'm literally tippy toe on this. Uh, these are the 13 inch as well. 13 inch Legends Revo Arc. All right, so as far as the install, what, uh, what do you think on the scale? <laughs> <laughs> scale of, oh yeah, it went from a scale of like two or three to be, you know, to being like a freaking nine. It, it, it was just a bit confusing before. Um, I had, we, we had a little issue balancing both shocks. Uh, in order for, for the balls to go in so we had to keep lifting the bike up and down and play around with it And then we just ended up just taking both bolts uh, from the top off and that way we were able to just balance everything in um, That was one thing and then the, uh, the fender was the fender was another thing where we had to take the three uh, The three bolts out of the, the little flare in the back fender um, that was another thing. Um, but as far as uh, like the, the bracket for the reservoir is pretty easy. Just oh yeah, to, that, that, that as far easy. as legend stuff, putting it on is not a problem. It's getting the Harley shit off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially they, they put one bolt this way and one bolt this way. Yeah. Whereas when the legends, you put them in, you put them in this way and you put the nuts this way, it's nice and simple. Yeah. What do you think about um, the setup, uh, how the reservoir is at right now? Oh, I like it. I like it better than on top. Really? Yeah, I do. Why? I don't know, on top it looks kind of cheap sometimes. Like some of the guys, like yours are black, or your shocks or whatever. Some of the guys have like the stupid, the gold shocks, the gold reservoirs, and they have them on top, and they look like freaking. Well, I mean, the, the gold reservoirs look good if your bike has gold accents. Yeah, if your bike has gold accents, exactly. Yeah, if your bike's right. silver, and then you put black gold accents on, it's not no. They make silver ones. You can get the silver ones. Yeah, I had those. I had those for Legends. Yeah, I, mean, I had those for for the Dyna. Yeah. Um, which yeah. which look good. Yeah, it looks really good on that. Um, but yeah, man, it was a. It, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a hard install it, it took a bit longer than than it should but it, it's really not that hard um it, was, it wasn't the, the install was easy it's the taking the old stuff off like i said removing the the stock stuff is pain yeah. ass. and i would highly suggest you doing this with a buddy because this is the reason why i didn't want to do it myself because it's just a lot of stuff where you got to play around with lifting up the bike Jacking, um, it up. jacking it up and playing around with it and maybe lifting up from the back like just different little 
little areas where you, you, you're gonna need help. Sometimes you need an extra hand, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Your beer was uh earned. Earned today. Yeah, I earned one my beer today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that, that's going to be the install. Thank you so much once again to Legend Suspension for providing me with these Revo Arts. The things are amazing. I ran Legends on the Dyna, and I loved it. Um, you took the Dyna a few times. Yeah. Now, how was it? It was a lot better. You run, you, you, you run Legends on, on your I run Legends, lives. too, on mine, but the problem is... Um, you just feel I, like they're a bit like... I don't think they're adjusted properly. Okay. Because so. the problem is I run... I run them. I don't have the the ones you have with the remote reservoirs. Would probably be a lot better because I have the the regular Revo A's. But with my wife and the load I run, sometimes I'm running. Well, that's the thing is that depending on the type of weight you're gonna have, you always gotta know if you're to what, adjust. You're well, adjust. you have the little the rebound adjustments, but then you have to adjust the shocks that, and that's everything. The thing. And I'm not, so that's why if you're gonna have a passenger, I I think these are better. Yes, absolutely. Because you have two options there, just to you know to play adjust. around with the sag and everything. Yeah. Um, with that being said, are you a fan of your legends? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, stock sucks. Yeah, stock it's, sucks. It's so I, anything above so, uh, above you stock. You hit a bump and you kill better. yourself. Yeah. Um, great thing about legends, if you're not aware, is that if anything goes wrong with them after you purchase your stuff, you have lifetime warranty. So if you yeah. blow your shocks out for some reason, like that light just went out, you have warranty <laughs> for that. <laughs> <laughs> Like I was saying, if you blow your shocks out, you have a lifetime warranty. You can send it right back to them. They'll get it fixed for you, and, and you'll have your shocks within a fair good amount of time. Their customer service is A1. I've been dealing with, with them for the past two years or so, and um, they, they're, they're great. So once again, huge shout out. Thank you guys so much. Um, these are also the shocks that all the stunt riders are running on their bikes as well, guys. So yeah, they're perfect. If you're if you're, that's what you're looking for and type of build you want and you want a lifetime warranty, boom, you got legends. Um, that's gonna be it. It's a little late. I need to get dinner. This guy needs to get dinner. My wife's probably pissed at me right now. I'm but. sure mine is. Hey. That's what happens. Yeah. Still a little cold? <sighs> Not really, but these beers like even warm, they're pretty good. Yeah. Catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby.